Hello, my fellow educators. I've had to come on today and do this short video. There's been something on my mind that has been driving me absolutely nuts. I've heard it a few times over the last little while and I need to get it off my chest and hopefully, hopefully I'll make me feel better. I'm not too sure it will. How many of my educator friends out there use rubrics for marking? Good. And how many of you don't let the student see the rubric until afterwards? Me neither. There are a few people out there who are giving the rubrics after they mark. And the funny part was the other day I heard someone say, well, I give them the rubric, not after I mark it, but after they submit the assignment. After they submit the assignment. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank God for that. That's better. Well, thank you. I don't know about you. I'm pretty simple. For me, the rubric means this. The rubric is the best instructions I can give my students for assessment. I can write instructions on it, onto an assessment, and then add the rubric at the end. And the rubric is way better still than the, the instructions. It tells them clearly what they have to do to succeed, and clearly what I'm looking for. I've heard people say the other day, well, I, my rubric, I tell them what to do, so they're basically just doing what I say, and they're getting perfect, or they're getting good marks. So I'm giving away the answer. Really? <laughs> really? Uh, just to give you an example, I use a rubric for many of my practical labs. Okay, And I'm a plumber, if you don't know. So we have plumbing labs. And one of the labs, they had to put together a two-piece washer, roughing. So one of my criteria is on my rubrics is simply about hangers and supports, supporting and hanging our pipe correctly. In order to get my top mark, it just says to simply, you followed the Ontario Building Code and supported and hung all your pieces of pipe to this code. Am I giving away anything? Oh. Do I tell them how many hangers to use, where to use them? How many, what's the spacing? For what type of material, what type of hanger? No. They have to know it. And if they don't know it, they do what they do in the real world. They get the resource out, their code out, and they look it up. And they know where it is, so they go look it up. They double check. I'm not giving away anything. Giving the rubric is not giving away anything. It just reminds me of people who say that Oh, I have to watch them. I have to have a proctor for their for their test, their examination. What really? Do we have to be the spies over their shoulders? These two things don't make sense. It's just like the tests, if you make your tests good enough, authentic enough, they won't be able to Google it. They won't be able to do this or that. So please, get them the rubric ahead of time. Don't keep it a secret. It's not a secret. It's a goal that you want your, your students to reach, a level that you want them to reach. So please, those of you who are not sharing it, please share it. Thank you.